and welcome to From the Lab. A particle accelerator is a machine that accelerates elementary particles such as protons and electrons and heavy ions to extremely high speeds. These accelerated particles are used in the study of atomic nuclei as well as for applications such as nuclear medicine and food sterilization. Today I am visiting an accelerator facility on the outskirts of Caen in Normandy. It is one of the world's five major laboratories involved in the synthesis and study of heavy and exotic nuclei that do not occur naturally on Earth. Let's find out more. I am at GANIL which is an acronym for Large Heavy Ion Accelerator. This facility boasts five cyclotrons or circular accelerators and one brand new linear accelerator called Spiral 2. To talk more about it, I am joined by the director of GANIL, Dr. Navin Alahari. Thank you very much, Navin, for joining us. First of all, can you tell us more about this brand new facility? Yeah, so first, welcome to GANIL Spiral 2. So this uh, uh, new accelerator will be one of the most uh, intense. Uh, that means it will give around 3 into 10 power 16 particles per second. And it will allow us to do science which is not done elsewhere because of this high intensity. So this, with using this high intensity, we'll be producing intense beams of neutrons using which we can do fundamental physics trying to understand fission and also some applied physics to understand material science. But the main goal is of course to do fundamental physics which using the heavy ions here we will be producing very heavy nuclei and new isotopes and we will try to understand how these nuclei are different from those which are existing on the earth. Why is it important to study these nuclei and how are these produced? Yeah, so these exotic nuclei as we say exotic because they don't exist on the earth Today, there are only 290 isotopes which exist on the Earth. And uh, our colleagues, uh, we and our colleagues around the world have discovered 3,000. And now we are trying to look how many more are there. So theory says there'll be 8,000. So again, of course, searching is not only for searching, but it's to, uh, to look for new signals that will give us a better understanding of the nuclear interaction and to look for new effects like halo nuclei, which don't exist al elsewhere. Right. Now, is this facility being used for applied research as well? Yeah. So, using our cyclotrons, we do, uh, uh, we do uh, radiation of uh, circuits which uh, the European Space Agency sends up. So, idea is to study the radiation damage on these circuits to mimic what's in space and then correct it so that they long, last longer in space. And also using this, uh, our facility, we are, we are using to make it fi very fine membranes which can be used for medicine or industrial uses and also apart from that using our brand new uh, linear accelerator we'll also look for new ways to produce isotopes which could be used for nuclear medicine. Thank you very much Navin, for your time. Thank you very much for coming here and giving us an opportunity to show you all what we are doing here. Thank you. It was a real pleasure. That's all we have for the moment. See you again from a different lab.